Hello guys, I'm the developer of the Common Core library and today I'd like to teach you something about how to use the configuration of all Common Core plugins. But before we can dive into the Common Core configurations, we have to learn something more about the advanced parts of YAML. There are three advanced parts of YAML that I'm going to teach you about. And these are multi-line strings, node anchors, and references. Let's start with multi-line strings. Multi-line strings are quite simple. You simply specify a key value pair. However, you use this special character, which you can type using Alt G R and W. When you type this character, all lines underneath the key will count as one message. New line characters will also remain part of the message. So if you want to add another line into this string ID key value pair, you can simply type it like this. You can use these multi-line strings, for example, for welcome messages, where you want to make the message span multiple lines. So for example, this welcome message will have hello player on the first line, Welcome on our server on the second line. We are currently doing a maintenance on the third line. And please enter your password to log in on the fourth line. Now let's look at node anchors and star references. They are also quite simple once you get into it. To specify an anchor, you have to type this end symbol and an anchor name. You can use any anchor name you want. You have to type this anchor definition next to the key that you want to make as an anchor. After that, you can use the reference to this anchor using star and typing out the anchor name. What this will do is that it will translate it and it will have a similar effect like you would have typed it out like this. So as you can see, all key value pairs underneath this ID1 will be copied into this ID3. Error references are quite similar to the star references. There is only one difference, and that is that you can simply change or add some other keys and values. Let's look at an example. You specify an anchor name next to the ID1. After that, you can use the error reference, which you write out using two left arrows, double dot, space, and a star reference to the anchor. What this will do is that it will copy all key and value pairs from ID1 into the ID3, but you can change some of the keys and it won't copy them. You can also add your own keys and values. So this example will translate into this. As you can see, all key values from ID1 were copied into ID3, except for the key 2 and value 2, because it had it already specified right here, and so it didn't overwrite it. The key 4 also remained under ID3 with its own value. So the only two key value pairs that were copied are key 1 and value 1, and key 3 and value 3.